Well, to tell you the truth, the man scared me to death just to be in the same room with him. He, uh, he had a voice, and what came out of his mouth, he listened to every word to the finutest uh, uh, detail. And, uh, and that's like Jerry Kramer said in his great book, uh, if he said, sit down, you didn't look for a chair, you fell right there. Uh, why? I don't know. There's just something in that guy. I got me a ticket. I went to Jacksonville, Florida. And that's when I discovered I couldn't turn the corner anymore. Like in that Green Bay Packers suite. I would, uh, two out of three, I'd fall down. I'd literally fall down turning the corner. And I said, well, I can't go this. My knee is strong. I can lift the weights and everything. Uh, but I just couldn't turn the corner. And they was picking me off, and I said, well, it must be time to quit, because I might get hurt again. It's Christmas 1988, and Travis Williams has little memorabilia to remind him of his glory days in the NFL, to remind him that he was once making $41,000 a year, money that he lost in unsuccessful business ventures. Travis Williams would become a member of America's Homeless. Oh, I lost my home in 77. The money had ran out, and uh, I was looking for this rope to drop out of the sky so I could pull myself up, but the rope wasn't long enough, and I couldn't reach it, and boom, I hit rock bottom. And I said, well, wow, what am I doing here? The White House, seen here behind us, has graced a lot of football stars, stars like Travis Williams. But after life in the NFL, Travis found himself falling upon hard times. Instead of the good life, he lived here on a park bench, a member of the homeless. And when you're homeless, every day is a battle for survival. You know what this is? This is the penthouse. They, what, what's this? This is the penthouse. That's the only thing that's got a roof. Don't miss it. Uh, some guy gave him a car. So they can get out of, you know, have some shelf. Yeah, that was Mike did that. They, they even sometimes play cards to see who sleeps there. Travis Williams was a proud man. He struggled to survive on the streets of Richmond, California. He has eight children. They live in Richmond. But he was too proud to turn to them for their assistance. Well, now, I'm kind of stubborn kind of fellow, too. So they would take me in, sure. But Daddy made it before they got here. And if I need anything, I know where to go. But I, I'm, I'm just like starting all over again. It's, I call it the game without the ball. Travis Williams was among those who would march into DC to protest cuts in the federal housing budget so that he might publicize the fact that America's homeless come from all walks of life. Hey, don't forget to clean off your table before you leave. Today, Travis Williams is employed employed as a security guard in a soup kitchen. He earns a modest $400 a month. But more importantly, his struggle to help the homeless has given Travis a new sense of self-value. I guess I can say a lot of things a lot of Americans across the country uh, can say, and it's real simple. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose and yet I'm doing something I want to do.